Welcome and thank you so much for tuning into the Greatness School YouTube channel. The channel where diamonds come to meet fellow diamonds to sharpen each other to greatness. Indeed, you are a diamond. I am your brother Ambrose Weda Esquire, lawyer, mentor, and author. Kindly listen carefully to this video and others on this channel. If you find them enlightening and sharpening, I request that you subscribe if you have not done so as yet. Click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Newer and more enlightening videos are forthcoming. You should not be left behind. You can also ask a question. Give us your feedback through a comment. You can also recommend to a friend, a fellow diamond. Thank you so much and welcome. Welcome to the Greatness School, the Greatness Talk platform today. We want to look at the art of asking how to get to yes how to ask one of the key skills you need in life is asking ability to ask ability to ask for assistance ask for favor ask for advice ask for knowledge many people are very willing to help but you must ask there are unlimited possibilities opportunities but you have to ask I am a lawyer, and I know most of my work in this asking. The course of a trial in court is about asking. You ask questions. You cross-examine. You lead evidence through asking. You re-examine through asking. You, you, you ask, asking. The universe is full of abundance, but you must ask. Even the creator of all things himself says you ask before he can do it. Asking is the seed for receiving. You plant a question, then you get an answer. It is the way to ignite receiving. It's the process. It trigger, it's trigger, triggers off the process of receiving. What is asking? Asking is you say or gesture something that requires a reaction. You put forward a question that requires a response. You make a request. You invite a reaction. You provoke a reaction. You do something that requires a reaction. That is asking. You request. You gesture. You motion for a reaction. You must know how to ask if you are going to be successful, if you are going to, to receive a yes answer. So how do you ask in a way that you receive? Number one, you must prepare to ask. You must prepare to ask. How do you prepare to ask? Decide exactly on what you want. Decide exactly on your desire. Number two, the reason why you want it motive, use. Don't just ask anyhow. There must be a good reason why you're asking. Number three, decide who to ask. This person must have the authority and the power to give or deal with what you're asking. Don't just ask people you meet. Ask the fellow who has authority and power. Therefore, you have to decide, I want to ask, but who should I ask? Who is the right person? Number four, decide on the strategy. Which language am I going to use? Which tone am I going to use? What is the mood? Mood, tone, language, strategy. Number five, all this require that you ask, if you are going to get to yes, you must ask at the right time. Timing. You can ask the right thing, but at the wrong time, it will be wrong. So timing is critical. When it is appropriate, you read the mood, the signs, the appropriateness. 
Thank you so much for listening to this video. As you continue listening to this video and others on this channel, if you find them enlightening and sharpening, I request that you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so as yet. Click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for newer and more enlightening videos forthcoming. You can also ask a question, give us your feedback through a comment. I wish you positive growth as you continue listening. How do you ask? Number one, number A, frame the question, frame the request. Number B, draw attention to the request or the question. In other words, if you want to ask somebody, you say, excuse me, please, I would like to make the following request. Then you shoot the question. Don't just ask and then Whoever was being asked is not aware that you are asking, you must draw the attention. C. Ask the question. In other words, now shoot the question. Make it clear directly and specifically using short, simple, and clear words. D. As you ask, please display sincerity. Actions speak louder than words. You ask a question, but somebody will look at you and see whether you are joking or you are not serious, or you are just being tricky. So, be sincere. Look honest and truthful. Be honest and truthful. Number E, be honest. In other words, ask and believe you will receive it. Ask in faith, expecting to receive. Don't just ask somebody else you are asking for granted. Ask honestly. Believing and trusting that you'll receive it. It can be seen in your face if and when you are honest. Next, give reason or justification for the question or for the request. I'm asking you for this to enable me to do this. Next, after you have asked and given the reasons, wait for an answer or a reaction. Don't just ask and then you walk away or you rush to something else. Wait for a reaction. Wait for direction. If the direction is not coming after an unreasonably long time, put a reminder. Ensure that you persist until you get a reaction or an answer. If you follow the art, of asking questions in a systematic manner. You deal with it specially and specifically. You are certain to get to yes. You are certain to get a reaction. Asking is the seed of receiving. The creator of all things said the book of Matthew 7, 7 to 8, I quote, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. You must ask. You must knock. You must seek for you to receive. That is the order of things in the universe. The way you ask determines how you will succeed. Thank you so much and God bless you.